Hello, bonjour, welcome to Paula's live open house on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. I hope you will, uh, well, I don't hope, I am sure you will enjoy this tour. We're seeing a beautiful home in Glenbrook area today, located at 4824 Graham Drive Southwest. Listed for six nineteen nine thousand dollars is a bungalow just behind me, uh, built in 1960 with fully upgraded and excellent condition of four bedroom, two full bath, 1150 for, uh, 1157 square feet, living uh, up, uh, above grade, and uh, a detached car garage and a lovely landscape. So be, just before we get started, I'd like to inform you that t right now I am I'm not the listing agent of this property, so I am not wearing my listing hat realtor, but rather a buyer's hat realtor. I am representing you guys who are wanting to, and ladies and gentlemen, who wants to purchase a home in the near future, looking for this type of homes and giving you the opportunity to be able to view in the comfort of your home or at work, comfort of during your lunch hour. Uh, it's an half hour, uh, and, and hopefully you enjoy this time during um, in your comfortable area, wherever you are, and uh, see this beautiful home. Please let me uh, know, this is an interactive uh, live tour, so if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer them. If I don't know the answer right away, I can easily get back to you and let you know. So, and I will be happy to do so. Also, if there are any areas you'd like to view uh, or uh, any price range you would like to see homes, let me know and we can arrange time for us to do that. So, well, without any further, uh, let's get us started. And we always start by looking at the street that the house is located and the neighbor so i am going to put uh, i think i forgot it in my car it's very important so i'm going to take the time to do that um hold on a second i'm going to take uh, my screen okay here it is sorry about this interruption i'm going to use this little uh, extra screen to add to my phone so it gives you a better view of the home so let me post it right here switch the view and here we are so welcome everyone and please this isn't know that this is an interacting view uh, live tour that you are welcome to join in, ask question, put your thumbs up if you like what you see, and I'll be happy to answer your question. And we love likes and, and hearts and all of that. My name is Paula Lehmans with Remax Professional, and I'd like to especially thank Scott Brayshaw, the listing agent and his seller, for allowing me to do so to do this virtual tour. This is the house we're gonna to see today, how beautiful landscape is. Um, it is a crab apple, mature crab apple tree, and it blooms in the spring, makes beautiful flowers and little crab apple later on in the season. It's got also other beautiful trees. The grass is lovely done. Nice bed, uh, flower beds as well with many perennials. The exterior of the home, as you see, is uh, exterior vinyl uh, with a beautiful aggregate pathway in the front. The windows throughout the homes are newer and there's a little shed on the side here. Isn't that gorgeous? And if I stop talking, you can hear the bird. Let's see. Okay, so we've had a, just over there at the end of the street, by the way, you will find a little park. There was a bunch of ladies yesterday gathering with six, with wild distancing. 
Uh, it was a group of ladies that lives around the neighborhood. It was fabulous anyway. Great neighborhood. Uh, by the way, the aggregate here that you see, uh, I just happened to met the seller before I did this and he was mentioning that it was done the exterior most of the all the exterior windows were for in the 2007 and 8 ish approximately he mentioned to me um maybe the aggregate was a little sooner like 17 18 so the landing here is a few steps up and it's a nice little balcony on the little shady spot it is east facing so that would be lovely to put a nice cute little table here and enjoy your coffee in the morning so that means the backyard is a west backyard a south and west so they've got suns all day long isn't that beautiful in pristine condition the roof is in excellent condition so are the soffits here the same with the garden the garters are away from the house so 4824 graham drive southwest is this home on the lovely door with an elegant glasses not too big of a glass but just a perfect actually and i'd like to welcome you all to this extremely well maintained proud of an ship home with flat ceilings hardwood floor open to the leaving area with big large window nice light fixtures and this is a great idea by the way ladies and gentlemen you may want to steal this idea this is an ikea piece of furniture that you know some people don't like to have the whole thing wide open a little bit more of a privacy plus more more um storage area you know you come in the house you have gloves in the winter hats or anything else you may need uh, to put extra because you may perhaps you have a bigger family than you expect it <laughs> and then there's a closet right on the right on the left and on the right there's this ikea piece of furniture that is very handy so it's kind of nice because that piece of furniture also separate the room a little bit and so people when they come in it's a little bit more private and then we have a peak of the kitchen here this living room also even have a piano so it's spacious see the piano is right here and room for piano sofa very cozy and very pretty so for $6.99 at number 4824 Graham drive southwest is this beautiful four bedroom home two full bathroom and now we've just saw here for 1157 square feet above grade and actually 2145 living space the basement is fully finished and it has a detached car garage now we're seeing the the dining area which is pretty spacious and because it's open to the living room let's say you had a party of 30 people let's say it would be easy to extend that dining room table to a bigger crowd lovely window and here they use their space it tremendously well um, here is a they put a little bit of a cabinet that is the same style cabinet in the kitchen with granite countertop so it's this all matches beautiful wall to put your painting and it's open to the kitchen beautiful kitchen upgraded kitchen again a lot of items are new they all look in excellent shape uh, it has a little bit of space here if you wanted to put a stool that would be possible backsplashes tile backsplashes and lots of cabinet so i'm sure you're curious to see the inside of those cabinet it's great they did put some pull out see this it's very practical but not only they have a lot of space uh, through their cabinets they also have a pantry a walk-in pantry that is very rare that people create that space 
to put in their 1960 built home when they renovated they put more cabinets instead but this pantry is so much more useful than more cabinets i find look at all the space even you can go a little further back here you find to organize your kitchen and on a very beautiful excellent shape uh, uh what's the name again um cork floor cork floor cork flooring beautiful it's got a nice light tone it feels really good did you know by the way cork flooring if you soar back it's a softer fl floor for you and it will maybe relieve some of the pain it's not going to fix it but, uh, in no means but it definitely is a softer and if you drop something same thing less risk to break it so lovely window isn't that a nice modern bay window it's not that triangle window we always see no this is brand new and even on the top has it's a nice angled window with with lots of light looking at the beautiful large backyard all right continuing it's got a beautiful little corner countertop here and more cabinet the uh, the dishwasher built-in dishwasher is a Kenmore uh, I lost my sorry about that I'm gonna retrieve it here okay let's do it again here we go thank you back to window. hello Diane thank you for joining us today you were seeing a beautiful home in Glenbrook list at six ninety nine nine, fully remodeled remodeled and in an excellent shape this is the kitchen and you see the pull out drawers as well as the gas range the appliances are black and the cabinets are uh, uh, sort of a maple wood I would say and um, on a brown tone feature and the microwave oven do go outside it's and also a van fat fan and a fan sorry and it does go outside you see the conduct there that goes brings the smells of your cooking outside so pull out drawers in the kitchen cork flooring beautiful two doors fridge with a dispenser ice and um water dispenser okay beautiful uh, the lighting here in the kitchen is pot light uh, there's quite a few on the flat ceiling and these are all new light fixtures throughout the house too so for those who are just arriving I'm giving another big view here of the living room coming from the kitchen dining room and now we are going to go to the sleeping quarters the oak hardwood floor has a lovely stain and it's an excellent shape it actually looks like new now the pocket door is really 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 useful in this home it creates privacy so if the kids wants to go to bed and you're still having guests or you, uh, then you can close it and have more of a private area and quieter for the kids to sleep and now here's one of the kids bedroom the girl I really like the fact that um, the parents are letting their kids express themselves and show the favorite colors of this young lady and it does have a feature of a mermaid so i like to call this the mermaid room it's beautiful blue and purple now i like to show the closet because they did spend a lot of money in making their closet quite practical see this is all built in and it will come with the basket you know there's quite a bit here and it's a great feature it may not be it's very very practical these people are very smart using this space beautifully new windows throughout and the exterior is an exterior vinyl and no low maintenance and a roof everything has been done 
uh, in the year of 2007 and 8, I believe, in the exterior. And then here's more floors. And now we're entering the master bedroom. And these parents love this blue. It's really, it's a warm color and very, very shows beautiful with the white trims of the house with a flat ceiling and the beautiful light fixture. Now they have extra cabinet here and I will show you the inside. It's an, again, I believe it's an Ikea cabinet and it's so organized, but they still, if you had a king size bed would fit here. If you move the cabinet to a different room, I will say this one might be a double queen. I'm not sure. And it fits nicely and it has his and hers cabinet. Now to show you how thoughtful they are, Inside, they have area for the long dress and under she puts her laundry basket and on the other side with her, all her uh, blouse and things, she can also has places for her shoes. Very thoughtful, all organized and there's the men's closet. They're always, always more simple than ours. And the extra closet here, look at that. This is all pull out. I'm sure you've seen that at the Ikea. Well, that's his. Well, hers is also a little bit, some drawers and pull out as well. Beautiful light fixtures on each side of the bed. So all these items, including the Venetian blinds, comes with the house. So yeah, some people kind of wonder what happened, what may, what does attach and detach items are when selling a home. Well, light fixtures will be attached, uh, uh, build get a uh, built-in cabinet or IKEA cabinet that are um, built in that as our screw in the wall is attached. So by being attached, that means included in the price. So again, the window, nice and bright. And the windows are high, are, are up high, are high up <laughs> here. And um, so that, that's great because you can change and it's private. Nobody sees you from the outside. And here's the, yeah, you guessed it, the boy's bedroom. Again, flat ceiling, nice light fixtures, a fair good size, it's got We'll call this one the star, the, the, um, what is it? I don't have a boy. So all these stories here are star, star war, the star war bedroom and the dinosaur. Lovely. And again, the cabinet, the, the, um, closet is extremely well organized. And on the back, on the other side is room to hang. Okay. So it's all there for you. Uh, and it's 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 a perfect perfect condition and the bathroom was remodeled very early on by the way not early on the most recent renovation is this bathroom that's what I'm trying to say and it is in excellent shape tile top to ceiling floor to ceiling seal with the uh, ceramic with tiles flooring deep top and bathroom, toilet, and sink, undermount sink with cabinets underneath, granite countertop as well, big mirror, nice lights feature, and it does have a lovely window to bring some air as well as a fan. So it's all here, ready to go. So if you like what you're seeing, please go ahead, give me the thumbs up. Uh, it we love to to get feedback if you like it put your thumbs up if you love it put the hearts on for so on our way to downstairs I'm going to repeat the address 4824 Graham Drive Southwest in Glenbrook Calgary asking 6199 bungalow style home built in 1960 four bedroom a total floor bedroom two full bathroom and on our way to downstairs and uh yeah with 1157 square feet above grade 2145 living space including the basement 
And here, uh, on our way to downstairs, I was wondering what's behind those curtains. And the seller was saying, well, that's all the Christmas stuff. And they put a beautiful curtain just to hide it. So, and there's a beautiful va red vase here. Very discreet, well thought, looks great. On our way downstairs, it's carpet with a very good underlay underneath. It feels really good. This, and it's been got it down and rebuilt that basement with a permit and it's all stamp the uh hard the floor is a carpeted floor throughout except for that room over there which is the fourth bedroom um and um it is uh, yeah so it's very comfortable carpeted almost throughout and uh, the landing area in the basement is a den area which is lovely they use their space so well and all the doors the window the trim the walls everything is in a beautiful shape for 619 ah, it's amazing now uh before i just tell you about what's really special about this basement let's look at this bedroom that is used as a den big big window legal size for a basement bedroom and uh, so nice and safe now it is used as a den but can easily be my uh, be uh, a beautiful door for the closet now let's see if this closet had been repair it does and wow they use it for the toys how can you tell but th this is a full solid wood um shelf so not shelf but sh yeah shelves and i just noticed here like because i'm wearing the buyer's hat then we do note uh, a few little when we see something that we should tell our buyers we do i'm sure if you come and see the home you will see this door has had a little damage something must have fallen to it so just be aware of it. it's not a big deal having a perfect home if it's just the only problem that you need to deal with then hey that's a pretty good home so uh let's see if i can show you the knock down ceiling for those who are not sure what to look like this is what it it is this is knockdown ceiling, which is a quite a good ceiling for a basement. Now, what's really special about this home as well in this basement is they didn't do this basement to sell. They did it for themselves and to be comfortable. It has the rock sole um, extra uh, insulation it called uh, rock sole that gives you uh it's between the inside wall of the basement and between the ceiling and the floor upstairs what it does it will attenuate the sounds of uh the noises people walking upstairs you'll be down here and you won't hear it so much okay so and it's also between walls so if somebody for instance is in this trying to get back my my toy here we'll get it we'll get it sorry about this interruption here it's getting stuck to here got it so um yeah it's an extra insulation ladies and gentlemen so for instance if somebody is in this beautiful large spacious rec room See here, you have room for uh, uh, exercise room or you could put toys or anything your family requests. It might be enough room here for a pool table, I'm not sure. But right beside the wall, for instance, it has the bedroom. So let's say you still want to watch your movie and someone is going to bed. Well, because you have this extra insulation, it will be a lot quieter for the person who wants to sleep in this room. So. It is between the wall and through the ceiling and the floor upstairs. So that's a quite a bit of an extra for a basement. And this feels so fresh in the summer day being in the basement. It's great. I love it. So here's the bathroom, the second full bathroom. It is a, 
a laminate or tile floor? Let me feel it. It has five minutes left and we haven't seen the outside, so I'm going to rush a little bit here. I love to show. The top here is uh, 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 deep and uh, it has jets. This bathroom has an in-floor heating. It's, I can feel it under my feet. It's lovely. Okay, so we have seen the home, a four-bedroom home and uh, with two full bathrooms. 21, 2145 square feet of living space for 619. Let's go outside before we have to close our viewing. Wow, beautiful bright day. It's got on my right, it's got a shed for your garden tools or anything that it's half, half in the on the side of the house, on the side of the backyard, and now the half in the front yard. Now, before I go any further, this is just a single cargo garage, which is also newer roof, newer exterior, and there are room beside here where, for the things that you don't want people to see. <laughs> or if you were extending the garage, there would be some room here. The, soup, the wall that you see here is not a fence, and it's a the height of a fence, it is concrete. It is on the property of the seller. It doesn't touch at all. So it's not a share wall. It is owned by the seller. You can do anything you like without having to ask the neighbor. And there's this beautiful backyard patio with a lovely table, a mayday tree. You got a lilac, I think, in the back there and a wire mesh fans with raspberry some perennials beans planting perfect on the side on the side of the garage which is south facing will be perfect for tomato and the garage is in excellent shape as well there would be room here if you wanted to put a double or triple generous room so beautiful yard mature trees with kids play that we'll have to check if it stays or not but it's there at the moment and on the other side of the house here we find it's got a nice little uh, fence here that's shared with the neighbor and it's still quite private and you have a very proud neighbor with a beautiful little um, water feature here and nice trees they also have it comes with a house a shed in the back for your plant it's not a shed it's a, a greenhouse the side of the house look at this so if there's something to do in this house you tell me because I can find yeah you're right you're right somebody says a double car garage you could put but that's possible look at the space you would have to add another garage here or put a new one instead of a single or put a triple one built your dream garage let's go see inside the garage oh by the way I just want to mention you may have seen some they have a dog places on the grass here but the good news is if I go close enough they have put they are see it's in the process of growing so yeah by the time you take possession maybe the grass will all have been grown again and be beautiful so here's the garage it's just a single with a window here original window hey there's something original <laughs> in this house but they have put oh wow look at that they put uh, new um, this is newer uh, uh, I'm looking for the word um, I have to think of construction here to straighten the garage so it's in good shape might be old but in good shape so we are going to have to finish our tour here um what do you think let me see the thumbs up or the hearts is that a home you would like to be in <laughs> so while we're getting while we're going back to the inside to close our live tour here we are at 4824 Graham Drive Southwest 6199 for 
2145 square feet of living space. Whoops. And here we go. So Hello, Diane. Yeah, just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So thanks everyone for coming uh, to see this lovely home. Uh, we will be back on open house, live open house this next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I plan to con continue to do so even though the normal open house are starting tomorrow, this Friday. Uh, we are in step two uh, of that COVID-19 pre, um, precautions and there will be uh, many, many, many precautions to take during our open houses this weekend and the future one coming up. But uh, still, you're welcome to come and join us. See as many homes as you like. There will be only one family at a time allowed into our open houses and there will be a lot of regulation about how to do so once you're in. The real estate agent will be there to explain them to you and there will be note on the front doors to inform you of how to proceed. Do not enter the house, read the notes and then everything will go nice and smoothly. Um, um, so even though this is going back to r real open house, I will still be doing my live virtual tour on weekdays tuesday wednesday thursday between 12 and 12 30 it's half hour tour on each day and uh, i focus in the glenmore glenbrook glendale and wildwood area and the surroundings so you want it or if you have any other home you'd like to see call me paula Lehmans with remax professional at 403 863-4913 or leave me a message uh, and I will get back to you uh, or email me at homes at paulasneighborhood.com. Thank you everyone. Have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy the beautiful weather and I'll see you next Tuesday.